Hello and good afternoon guys and welcome to another vlog. Today I'm going to do a bit of practicing. My short game has been awful recently. Um, I've come on stride since I've had a lesson with Peasy. You know the long game is great but the short game needs tightening up. I felt that recently I'm losing a lot of show shots, shoots, I'm losing a lot of shots. You know I'm getting a couple under par, my passing's on it and then all of a sudden my game goes to crap and that's where I need my recovery to come in. So I've come down to the practice area to kind of go back to basics and get used to hitting different types of shots, high, low, chip and runs. I haven't spent a lot of time practicing. I've got a bit of, a bit of free time now so I think I need to get on the practice. And then once I've done that, I'm gonna go out on the course, I'm gonna shoot a new video as well. Hopefully the wind will die down. But yeah, it's a bit of a practice, guys. Got a few matches lined up, so I need to get my game in gear to get back to winning ways. So I always start off with a 60 degree, and to be fair, it's a bit toey, but going on middle. So I start, yeah, so I start with a 60 degree, and then I'll go on to 54, go a bit further away, and play on a bit further chips. I start with a 60 because I wanted to build the confidence. Um, you know, the closer you get to the green, you don't want to be hitting a more lofted club, depending if you've got obstacles in your way. But having that confidence to float the ball up and let it drop will build your confidence up for the more difficult shots you know further away um, you know the best thing about this one is you know it's not I haven't peppered the flag you know I've hit some really close ones at the same time I haven't hit you know really bad shots but it's good for a warm-up and yeah I can start playing around I can work around the green because there's downhill lies uphill lies over bunkers the shots that you're gonna come across on the course so taking an hour and a half away from the course and practice plays dividends on the course it really does so yeah get a few more clips for you and then we'll head out on the course and hopefully play nine holes so location number two is a little bit further away we've got a left to right sloping green so i'm going to go for the middle one it's quite a difficult pin placement but there's not too much trouble uh, i'll probably use a 54 you probably get away with a 60 to be fair because you need to cover quite a bit of rough um what I tend to do is, so if I'm, if I'm green side, I haven't really got a lot to do, but obviously need to cover a bit of green. I go with a nine iron, even up to a seven iron. So you just play that nice little chip and run and it will pitch onto the green and run up to the hole. You know, so there are skill players out there that can take a 54 degree and pop it and, or even a 60 degree and pop it up and stop it. I'm learning to do that. But yeah, I tend to hit more bigger irons closer to the green so if i'm in the position now i'm going to hit a 60 or even a 54 just because i need to cover quite a lot of green here or sorry rough to get onto the green so let's try my flap shot <laughs> So one thing that sucks, I'm so unfit. Ooh. It's the one thing that sucks about practicing on a practice area. You have to go pick the balls up. And the range is fine, just hit as many as you want. Once you you're done, and here you gotta go pick them up. I need a timeout. All right, so I've hit 60 degree, 54, bunker shots, and now it's time to hit some chip and runs. So what I'm gonna do is go to the right of the green, it's all uphill, so what I'm going to do is chip all the way to the left flag. I'm taking a 7 and an 8 iron. So just to work on trajectory and obviously where to pitch it. Obviously it's uphill, so it needs to be a lot further than it would be on flat or downhill. So hit about 40-50 balls. Try and dial that in and then out on the course. It's safe to say that summer is officially over. Um, trousers are on now. 
so you won't be seeing my pins anymore which I'm sure some of you will be thankful for but yeah you know not really been the greatest of summers but hey ho let's just hope it stays like this for winter so we can get some content out obviously I'll be up in the studio which I cannot wait for because they're getting a projector so we'll be doing some awesome stuff in there with PZ and Rob um, Christian's back Thursday so yeah it's gonna be a good week so I don't think the projector's going in just yet I think they're getting a quote and find out but guys yeah I, I can't wait for it you know I've got some matches lined up as well as I said earlier so I need to dial my game and everything's going well but my recovery it's really weird everything's falling out of places but slowly bringing it all together the handicap is not my main focus at the moment it's just to play well consistent you know um, I've gone back up to six which is disappointing but you know I haven't really um, taken it to heart because I have, haven't played well you know I can't drop my handicap from not playing well. So I need to go back to basics, practice, have a lesson with PZ, and regroup really, because it just hasn't been going well. Um, but some of you eagle-eyed viewers might have noticed that the big dog is back, as I mentioned on Twitter. Brand new shaft in it. Callaway had found out that, well, the shaft had been cut down. It was like an inch shorter than Christian, you know, standard length. I think standard's 45 inches, and it was down to, just below 44 so it was too short for me and the reason why it snaps is because I think there was a, um, a break already in the shaft so when I hit it I just completely ruined it so thankfully Callaway had returned it within two weeks so thank you Callaway best manufacturers around I took it out the other day and my god is it long uh, the eighth hole here which is a par five which I will show you I hit a driver right to the bunkers and it left me with a nine iron in what it's like a 400 and something yard par five, but I'll show you when I get there. But yeah, I can't wait to hit it, guys, and get it on the video for you. So yeah, let's practice the chip and runs, and let's see if we can get on the course. Change plan, guys. I'm going to come up tomorrow because the course is so busy right now, and you know I don't want to hold anyone up and. You know, I want to produce a good video, so I'm going to come up tomorrow. The weather's meant to be a lot better, no wind, so I can produce a better video. So yeah, sorry guys, but um, I'll check in with you tomorrow morning. Good morning, guys. Change of plans again. <laughs> it's so annoying. So I checked the website today to make sure the course is open, which it is. It's a beautiful sunny day. There's a bloody competition going on for the uh, society going on. So yeah, so I've had to come onto the nine hole again. But I've booked a lesson with PZ tomorrow, so it'll be Thursday. Yeah, so I'll be doing another video of him. Christian's coming up, so I'll play with him. Hopefully, shoot the video I want. Yeah, so it's a bit of a change of plan again, but I'm going to have a proper serious practice, you know, really work on my yardages, really work on my chipping, which I did yesterday, put it into practice today. And the nine hole is actually tougher than the 18 hole, it's actually a bit more tighter. Yeah, I've got, uh, got a meeting later, so. Hopefully everything will improve, but what's today? It's Wednesday, so two more days until the Ryder Cup. I'm so excited. I watched Rory win the FedEx on Sunday. That was nail-biting. I was following some of you guys on Twitter, and yeah, it was an incredible round and playoff as well. Ryan Moore, congratulations to him as well for getting into the Ryder Cup team for the American side. He's been playing phenomenal golf, so yeah, he would have been my choice over Bubba all day. So yeah, guys, a little bit of a practice again. I'll get some swings and kind of chat through how I approach each shot. And that's what I want to do, is do like a vlog, course vlog, plus course management, how I go about it, and how it's helped me lower my handicap. So I'll be doing that with Christian tomorrow, hopefully. In the meantime, let's go play some golf.
So guys, welcome to day three of the vlog. I know it's a bit unusual, I never really vlog three days in a row, but I've got a bit of time off, so I thought I'd practice, got bored. And plus my partner in crime has been on holiday. But that said, I'm back. He's back. back. He's back from Mickey Goo. Brown as anything. Striking it like a beast. Did you have a good holiday? Good, mate. You, you've caught the sun. I'm very jealous. You know, I'm still very pale. Because I burned. <laughs> He's burned. So, Christian, it's first round in three weeks. Yep. So we're gonna get on the course. First time I get a ball in three weeks. But I always say, like, if you have a break, does you good, doesn't it? We'll see. See. We'll find out. We'll, we will find out. So it's another glorious day in England. Before this horrible weather is comes in, and I've obviously got my shorts still on. I'm still pretty warm. Excuse the hat. I've got a bit of. Hat there, I've got a haircut tomorrow. But yeah, we're gonna go on the course. We're gonna shoot a video. It feels good to have Christian back. I'm not alone. And yeah, let's see how we get on. Not sure if you can see Christian, he's just there. Hello. Absolutely bomb my drone. <laughs> it's about 290, 300 into the par five, so downwind. Still a good hit. Let's see if Christian can get it on too. I think he's just laying up. It's a really good strike. Oh, so good. Not about there. Shot. Oh, hello vlog. Sorry for the, I haven't got many clips. We just got done finishing filming our course vlog. We haven't really done one for a long time. So with the Ryder Cup in mind, we got it done. Really, really good match, wasn't it, Chris? <laughs> Poor guy's been on holiday, hasn't played for three weeks, but striking the ball really well. I mean, we're both going through transitional periods where we're having lessons with Peasy. Make it sound like we're having sex changes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite happy being a bloke. Are you happy being a bloke? Or? Yeah, I am. I think we make quite well, nice like looking women. Transitional period. <laughs> I meant in our swings. So, yeah, we've got done filming that. It's gonna come on the next couple of days. Probably be up before this so yeah let's get a few more swings for you we'll see you at the end all oh, right so our overall match has come to an end what well, was i three two. two in the end well played sir thank you well it's great to have you back and playing so guys sorry it's been a bit of a messed this vlog you know three days and well i came on monday and i oh, sorry tuesday wanted to film a course vlog i didn't because it was busy wednesday i came didn't and eventually got it done today so yeah the our rider cup edition vlog will be up very soon with this man here so guys thank you very much for watching uh -huh. yeah well, it's not too bad i'm getting a haircut tomorrow so it's all good <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, if you liked the vlog please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because there will be many more to come and more videos with this chap and more videos in the studio because they're getting their projector which means indoor practice. I can't wait. So guys thank you once again and we'll see you very soon.